Good everybody, I want you to know that you're unstoppable. I want you to know that if it's not working, switch it to praise. Welcome to the Unstoppable Nation today. That is the topic. If it's not working, switch it to praise. Let me first of all define something for you. Faith is an evidence of what you've not seen, substance of what you're hoping for. And this has to go with evidence of what you've not seen. Meaning if you pray for something, you need to bring the evidence out, something that represents what you're looking for. And you need to start acting as if you've received it substance of what you're hoping for you need to bring a substance out for your hope to make sure that you continue to believe that you've received now where does praise stand in all this i will praise the lord at all time his praise shall continually be in my mouth it means that <clears throat> when you praise your creator for whatever he has done for you and for what he's here to do it means that you've laid a demand on him in a very powerful way that is even stronger than prayer. Let me cite an example for you. Remember, we are like God in his likeness and in his image. Now, let me tell you this. If you have someone, like, I don't mean, it's not even like a stranger here, your dad or your mom, if you want to collect something from them and you are not coming like, mom, I need this, I need that. You just start with, mommy, do you know that you're beautiful? <laughs> Mom, I love you so much. You see, you've done a lot for me. And in fact, your mother will be like, what do you want me to do? What's up with all these praises? Mom, it's just like that. Uh, before you finish in their hearts, they've already made up their mind that if this is something that they can do for you, they will do it. See, there are some miracles in the Bible that if not for praise, it wouldn't have happened. For example, do you remember when Jesus thanked God about the five loaves and the fishes those days he blessed god and it was multiplied he didn't tell us that this thing no he praised god see if you would learn to praise god is an act of faith before i go deep into that you need to know is an act of faith you understand and faith is the currency is the currency that god really understands when you pay him with it you understand he said in this world, you will see trouble. There will be tribulation. But he has overcome the world. Is that not faith? Like, whatever you are going through, he knows about it. Whatever you would go through, he knows about it. No matter how the sickness is treating you, he's already aware. He says, don't worry. Do you know what he said? He said, he has already overcome. See, the situation is, has come to make you not to ever think about the last part that he has overcome. And if you would continue to focus on the situation, let me tell you something, there won't be any reason for you to praise. But if you continue to focus on the world, then in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the negativity, you would desire to praise him. See, I want you to start putting this in your head. I want you to start repeating it that no matter what, I will praise God. No matter what, I will praise God. Do you know what you're saying? No matter what, everything I'm asking will be delivered to me. Let me cite another example for you from the Bible. Do you remember the story of the Israelites going around the Jericho? The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. Why the children of God are praising the Lord? The wall of Jericho fell down flat. I want to let you know, what is the wall that you have in your life? Which wall do you have that is in between you and your Canaan land? That is in, in between you and your victory? That is in between you and your success? That is in between you and your greatness? If you've prayed, if you've fasted, if you've done deliverance, and all those three things did not work, then God, it means that God has already finished it. It means that you don't need to pray about it anymore. It means that you don't need to fast about it anymore. But he wants you to acknowledge that he has finished it by praising him. See, there are some things that are big that God knows that when you receive, yeah, you will know that it can only be him. And all you need to do to collect these things from God is to praise him. Is to praise him. You understand? You need to understand that the act of praise is the act of faith. They say in the Bible is written that praise moves God. It makes God to stand up and look into your purpose. No wonder God loves David so much. Have you read Psalms? David was a beautiful writer. He knows how to write. Very excellent writer. Even we that we are seeing what David has written over thousands of years. We are still learning poem for what he wrote. 
you understand i think i have a bit of david thing in me because i write a lot too you understand and i'm saying a lot too. you understand because i want god to love me they say david is the person after god's arts god loves him like that because of what if you check very well out of all the kings in the israel david was a spectacular king because of what he praises god always he's always talking to god see let me tell you your earthly father i mean your real dad part of the reasons why you think is denying you of a lot of things is you is supposed to do for you it's basically because maybe you are not thanking him enough maybe you are not appreciating him enough you understand there is a direct way and there is indirect way now i'm talking about the direct way right now i'll tell you about the indirect way of praise the direct way is sometimes you, it doesn't have to be when you need something if you just come home even if you've done daddy i just want to tell you that do you know that you're very handsome you will just love that this one you are not serious you understand daddy do you know that i just love you daddy do you know that if not for you i don't even know where would have been see those kind of words they don't forget no matter how tough your daddy is, if you continually praise your dad, if you continually appreciate your dad, he will give you more than what you think he, he can never. I'm telling you, if your dad is tough, try it. If your dad is close to you, try it. You will see how blossom your relationship is going to be. Let's go into the aspect of relationship. Instead of condemning every time, Instead of condemning, I know there will always be time to complain because both of you have different understanding, definitely. You are working towards having one understanding. You are working towards being one. But if you would let your praise to be more than your complaint, you will see a new partner in your partner. I can assure you. Learn to be kind with sweet words. Learn to be kind with praise towards your partner. Learn to learn. Learn to learn good things to say towards your partner. And when you are complaining, you can complain with praise. You understand that, babe, uh, I really appreciate everything that you're doing, but you see this particular aspect. Don't stay too long on complain. Spend more time on praise. And you would see how your relationship will be sweet. Oh, is it you that you have a siblings, like brothers and sisters, and you know that your sister has a lot and you want to get things from ah, you understand? Praise ah, praise ah. Not even every time that you need something. Sometimes just send nice message. Just make a few. Like if I let a partner be struggling, that this is your brother. Why does he love you this much? You understand what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. It, it will be you. It will be think. She will be thinking about the same way. If you continually praise God. From today, it will be you God would be thinking about. See, there is nothing God cannot do. Your situation is not difficult at all. No matter how you want to tell me, no matter how you want to complicate it, it's not difficult. You understand? Do you remember that story in the Bible whereby uh, some lepers, they were like at the outskirts of um, the city, I think it was in Israel, and um, the God made the, the Philistine to hear the sound of war, like people are coming to fight them, and they ran away. And they left their food. And do you remember that uh, there was a like one of the people in their council in Israel that said, when Elijah, I think it was it Elijah or Elisha, that prophesied that time that by this time tomorrow, that things will be very, very cheap. I'm paraphrasing here. And the man was bold enough to counter what the prophet said. And the prophet said, with your eyes, would you see it? Or your mouth will not taste it. So it happened like the next day, some lepers, they were, they were like, okay, we are here and, uh, <laughs> and we are suffering. Anyway, there's no food to eat. Let's walk towards the camp of the enemy. Whether if we did not eat, we would die. If we go and meet them, if they didn't give us food and they think that they should kill us, we will still die. So let's choose our death. Let's, at least let's die trying. Do you understand? And they stood up and started walking towards the camp of the Philistines. And now let me tell you something what happened. Let me tell you what happened. As they were going, God multiplied their steps. God multiplied their steps. And their steps sounded like somebody, like a lot of people that is coming to fight war. And the enemies that were camping at the gate of Israelite, they left, they ran for their dear lives. And these lepers went to tell uh, the people in the city that they fled. And their food was brought in. See, let me tell you something. 
A day before that day, a lot of people in Israel would have lost hope. They would have thought that nothing would change in their life. See, a minute before your miracle, you may think that nothing can ever happen. See, a minute before God brings in that blessing that you want, you may think that everything has ended. But let me tell you something. If you would praise this God, you would open your mouth. You would thank this God. Let me tell you something. That one minute miracle can happen to you right now. That one minute healing can happen to you right now. That one minute, like just after a minute. In fact, after a second, it can happen. See, let me tell you something. Accident doesn't take one minute to happen. Just that second, bam, has happened. That is the same way. Incident of greatness, of glory, of abundance happen to people. See, I want you to know that, see, God has blessed you a lot. God has blessed you enough before you were even born. Now that you were born, before you could even talk. See, I was watching the life of my baby girl. I saw that no matter how you try as a man, as the father or as the mother to protect these children, you would see that it's God that is actually protecting them. Because sometimes they will just fall from somewhere. Sometimes they will just fall down. Sometimes they will just do some things and before you run there they've already almost enjoyed themselves and they will just narrowly escape some things and you'll be like wow how did this happen i'm here i'm trying to watch over you and i didn't even know when you do you understand what i'm saying they are very fast sometimes that's how you that's how god has kept you there are so many pits you should have fallen into that you don't even know there are so many things that God has done behind the scene. There are so many things that God has protected you from. There are so many blessings that God has given you that you've not seen. But because you've not touched it, you've not known the habit of praise. See, the key to open that greatness that you will get before the end of this December is praise. A God that has kept you. From January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Is it not worthy of praise? You may say, I didn't have enough this year. You may say, I didn't have... See, so I heard from people that are billionaires right now. All they are wishing for is death. Because their life does not even have any meaning. I was watching a program yesterday. And the wife was asking the husband to give him something. Like push gift. Listen. The husband was like... What else would I give this woman? Lamborghini you have. Jewelry you have. Gold, diamond, everything you have. In excess. He doesn't even know the gift to give again. I was not thinking that. So some people now, all these things that we, we are dreaming to have, some people they have it. And they still want more. And it's not like their husband does not want to give them more. But the husband does not even know the duty to buy or to do again. See, let me tell you something. That thing that you are waiting for, that you want, that, that, that you really need, I want to ask you, when you get it, what next? That is how, why you need to have the art of gratitude. You understand? Do you get what I just said? That is why you have to have the art of gratitude. In your gratitude, whatever you have, you'll be thanking God for it. And what he knows that you need next, he'll be adding it up to you. And when you have that, you'll be content, you'll be happy again, and you keep thinking, and you'll be adding more. In Yoruba, they say, Meaning, if you thank me for what I did for you yesterday, I would definitely give you more. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, please, it's good to pray. It's good to fast. It's good to focus on fellowship with God. But when you are benefiting, benefiting, benefiting with all, when you pray, it's for you. When you fast, is for you. Do you understand? When you fast, is for you. Are you with me? But when you praise, is for him. That is the food he eats. He likes when you do it. He wants you to do it. He believes that when you do it, you know his essence. And he would want to prove his essence to you. And do you know what it means for God to prove his, prove his essence to you? Let me explain to you. After the Israelites rounded the uh, wall of Jericho seven times, the wall fell down flat without them pushing. Meaning that there are some problems that, humanly speaking, you can never solve. There are some heights that, humanly speaking, you can never get to. There are some places, positions that you want to be with and you want to be there. But you know that there is no way you want to do the mathematics or the further maths. You can never get there. 
the same way the Israelites cannot push the wall of Jericho to fall down by themselves. But praise, praise will make the impossible to be possible for you. Because it's by faith that God says also that you can say to this mountain to move from here and it will go. Faith is powerful. Faith is like telling, like daring God, like, I know you've done this for me. And it would arise to you. See, whatever you want, main part of the reason you are not getting things that you want in life is because you always want the thing for your selfish purpose. When you want things according to God's name's sake, according to God's name's praise, like you want it to happen because you want people to give glory to God on your behalf, there is no way it will not happen. There is no way it will not happen. Towards the end of this video, there was a thanksgiving. There's a video that I was slotting that you would see where that is how I praise God. See, I can dance to his, to some extent, yeah? But, you know, when the devil really wanted to snatch me, I do do all this dance in the wrong places. But right now, the dance is for God, yeah? And when I dance for God, I dance like is my last so i dance like god wants to give me diamond and i'm there just to dance to get it and now let me tell you he has been manifesting in some serious ways since i've been doing it you need to be able to dance to god i'm still talking about direct praise like you dance without looking at who is looking at you that is the message that I gave yesterday, that they don't have to like you. Like, some people will say, you are dancing to God and you're embarrassing me. Can you imagine? You are dancing to God in the church and somebody will be looking at you like, why are you embarrassing yourself? Are they okay? They are the one that they should be asking, why are they embarrassing themselves by saying, by talking like somebody that does not really have sense? Because let me tell you the sensible part of this. A God that created this eyes, nose, mouth, that I don't even know how to form from anywhere, that has given me a life, that gave me the ability to come to this church, that makes me to be able, no issues. All he needs is for me to appreciate him and thank him and he's going to do more. And you are there criticizing what... Wait, do you remember what happened to that woman in the Bible when David was dancing? That David removed his clothes and was dancing to God. He was really dancing to God. David is really somebody to emulate. And it was mock, she mocked David as David was dancing. In the Bible, that was the only person that was recorded barren. Throughout, no child. And that's how God can be against you condemning somebody that is praising God. That's why you need to be on the unstoppable nation. You need to learn all these things. Some people's blessing has been stopped because they mocked people that are praising God. Some people's blessing has been stopped because they mocked people that are just doing their thing. And God, you see, God has a way of protecting the poor. You are using their situation to insult them. You are using their situation against them. You are using their situation as the point of weakness to, 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 to take advantage of them. And you are suffering and you don't know why. Please repent today. Repent today. When you see people praising God when they have nothing, you, if you have something, praise God. How much of praise have you given to him for what he has done for you? Please, we need to wake up. Also, I need to talk about the indirect way of praising God. The indirect way of praising God is to live right. Live right. When you know that nobody can see you, only God can see you, live right. It's a way of telling him that, God, I respect and I praise you for this time. And it will keep guiding you. It will keep protecting you. I want you to know that your praise should be unstoppable. They say pray without ceasing. I would also add, please, praise without ceasing. When you want God to continually think about you, you need to continually praise him. Another example in the Bible. For the people that praised God and God answered their prayer is also the people of Israel. Do you understand what I'm saying? Remember the symbol that Moses raised on the cross, the snake. You may not know what it means. But see, God always finds a way to show himself who he is. And he would not bring down a standard for you. 
is God all by himself. And you not looking up to him means that you are not acknowledging him for what he is. And he doesn't take it lightly. Praise God. Give it to him. So that he will give it to you. This that you want. So that it will bless you abundantly. So that it will make you an example of somebody that praises him. There is nothing that you need in this world that if you turn to praise to God, that he will not do. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See, this is talk. Like, let's have this talk. I promise you, today, if you switch all those requests into praise, like, Father, I thank you that you've done this for me. And you will dance the dance like he's done it for you. You will do the things that you're supposed to do when he's done it for you. Then you will get it. You see, in some prayer session, they will tell you, if you think you want to be pregnant, if you want to pregnancy, put clothes in your tummy. Dance or like a baby. Dance like you have your baby. And God will give you that baby. Is that not the same thing that says in the Bible that um, faith is the evidence, the evidence, the clothes you are putting of what you've not seen. You are carrying somebody and you are carrying your clothes, but you are looking at the clothes, you are seeing the face of your baby there. You are bringing the baby into the clothes and God will give you the baby in your womb and you will deliver. See, whenever the word puts, puts me down, whenever they push me to the wall, whenever I'm confused and I don't know the direction to take, my secret is praise. I praise him. First of all, this is what happens. My mindset and my whatever I'm worried about or whatever is affecting me negatively, the, the, the kind of um, way I'm feeling will first of all reduce to the minimum. And before you know what's happening, I'll be distracted to do some other thing. And before you know what is happening, everything that I was expecting, God would have solved it. Ha! I want you to know you've been missing a lot by not being grateful enough. They said, your gratitude will determine your attitude. Yes, in life. Your gratitude should determine your attitude. The more you appreciate people that are blessing you, the more they take you up. Everybody wants to be praised. Everybody wants to be praised. Everybody wants to be praised. If people want to be, how much more God? I want you to know that you're unstoppable. So this weekend, this is what I want you to do. I want you to actually find a special time, maybe for 10, 15 minutes, Play some nice songs that will make you dance to God. Just say that, God, I just want to use the dance to thank you from January to this December. If God did not surprise you before the end of this month, God has not sent me. Dance to God. Like the kind of dance you cannot even dance publicly. Dance it to God. Dance it to God. He knows your request. Please don't ask for anything. Just thank him for everything that he's done. He will be the one to go and check the book of Philippians. Okay, what has Shagun done? What, what is he not expecting? Wow, he's really pressing and he's going to deliver it to you. It's going to deliver it to you. The Unstoppable Nation started like a pressing nation. At that time, it was Unstoppable Club. We gather once a month. We dance to God. It's coming again. This 2024, we're going to be having a concert and it will be massive praise. Massive praise. Like, I don't know how you've ever danced under the influence of anything, maybe probably in the club or something. But this one, you will come and dance under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Excuse me. Then you would know that alcohol knowledge. You will know that all those other substances that you use to get you high knowledge. Because the most high is going to get you high to dance. You're going to dance. The Unstoppable Nation is having a concert later 2024. It's just for you to come and see how wonderful this God is. And it's going to be like a tour. We'll do it in London. We'll do it in Scotland. And we'll do it in Africa. And I want you to be part of it. Because it's a praise movement. In fact, Fridays are the days of praise. There are some days on Friday that it won't be even me talking to you about praise. I'm just launching you into it from, from today. It may just be me playing good, nice song 
and dancing to God. And you will join me in the dance. You will move in the dance. You will shake it for God in the dance. When we begin to do it, like it's going to be our club. You understand? Our gospel club. Yeah, you will dance. And after that, you will eat nice supper. And you go and say, and you will see the action of God the following week. See, let me tell you something. Whatever we need to bring God's attention into our direction, to give us the provision that we'll be anticipating, we'll do it. We'll do it. Please, are you ready to join me? Next week, Friday, I hope so that I've gotten everything I needed to get. We're going to be dancing. We'll dance. Yes. Even if it's 10 minutes, even if it's one hour, and even if it's 30 minutes, it's, um, it's, it's not going to be more than 30 minutes anyway. But we'll dance. After this video, you will see the type of dance I'm talking about. I'm going to put it just before, just the next few minutes. Just wait on it. You will see. You will dance. You understand? And from henceforth, we will now be calling the type of clothes you will wear. In your own closet. You understand? If you have issues like outside, this one, you are the one filming yourself. You have to get maybe your... You, you, you have to listen to it. Then if you have another phone, then you film yourself. You can even send to me. You want to be doing your unstoppable club brave every Friday. So sometimes it may be talk like this. In case you don't understand what we are doing, I will bring you into it. But majorly, you will dance. The dance that you will dance for that testimony that you're expecting, for that blessing that you're expecting, for that place that you won't go to touch, for that healing that you're expecting, that dance, you'll dance it for God already. Because it's our own way of praying to God. It's our own way of receiving from God. Because we know when we sincerely pray, it's going to rise to our, for our sake and it's going to deliver that which we ask for us. Even beyond. It said, eyes have not seen, ears have not had out of mind, I know conceived what he has in stock for us, for you. But we are not asking enough. We don't even know how to ask. We don't know how to knock. We don't know how to seek. This is a sure way that I know. I'm not talking about just provision of money, clothes, or anything alone. I'm talking about healing. If it's cancer, you will dance with it. The cancer will dance out of your life. If it's sickness, you will dance with it. The sickness will dance out of your life. If it's negativity you will dance with it and the negativity will dance out of your life because god will be shining light into your direction and every darkness has to disappear see i want us to be a nation of praise you see david god loves him i want all of us to be men after god's heart so that god will be thinking about us always and he will be having mercy on us and he will be favoring us and he will be lifting us up and in that way we will definitely be unstoppable so i want you to know that when you engage in this prayer exercise, you are engaging into another level of your life. And that 2024, things that you never believe will happen to you will be your normal day things that you'll be experiencing positively. So please enjoy the dance that I had during the uh, uh, Thanksgiving service of uh, Pastor Jerry that was uh, on Sunday last week. He brought, he brought, a, he brought a woman and... The, the, the music was me and my family really danced we danced i want you to watch it and that will be the replica of what we'll be doing from every friday going forward <laughs> don't be afraid you're gonna like it i want you to know that you're unstoppable let's meet again on monday and let's have some discussions about relationship again you see i will be giving you on monday our routine because i think monday is for a relationship tuesday will be for a particular topic wednesday thursday then friday will be our priest day you are unstoppable bye